Today's lesson is about taking the content of cell B1 and putting it into the left header and then printing the Excel sheet. Why are we doing this exercise? Basically, I have three goals. The first one, I want to show you how to play with headers and footers in Excel VBA. The second one, I want to show you that even if you don't know anything about the code that you need to write, you can use the macro recorder to get the right code. And number three, I want to show you some of the workbook events that we have like before printing. So let's start. If I want to insert something in the header, it is not like a cell. I cannot put a formula. So if I go to page layout and then I click here, I go to headers and footer, custom header, and I write equal, for example, B1, and I say, okay, the problem is I'm not going to get the content here. I'm just going to get a text. If I go with Ctrl P to print preview, you can see that I get the B1 here. And again, if you are interested into all the printing options that you have in Excel, I have a lesson on this and I'm going to put a link in the description. So now this is not working. So let's remove this and let's try to record a macro to see how to do it. To record a macro, you can press on this button or you can go to developer and do record macro. So let's press the button. We have macro three. Then we go to page layout. We click here on this arrow, header and footer, custom header. And let's write any text. I'm going to say any text. I'm going to say, OK, OK. And then I go to developer and I stop recording the macro. If I do Alt F11, I will get the Visual Basic Editor. In this, you will have different modules. So my macro is in module two and it has recorded a lot of things. Those are all the properties that were in this window. I didn't set them, but it just takes them as default. Now I want to find the right property. How do I find it? Basically, if you see here, we have any text, what I typed. So if I take this, this should be the property that I need to change. Let's just copy it and let's go here and make a sub test, for example. And let's just paste this here. If you see, for example, if I change this to text instead of any text, and then you do and with, because there is always and with when you have a with block, and then you click, you can see that text comes here. And if I do control P, I can get the text here. Now, the key here is I don't want to put a button and then the person has to click a button to get this here. It's not right because sometimes you'll forget to do this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use an event that is in the workbook. So let's go to this workbook and then let's select here workbook. Here we have workbook.open, but we have so many others. So there is one called before print. So here we go before print. So I'm going to use this one and remove this. Now, the only thing I need to do is copy this, put it in the workbook, make sure that you go into this workbook because this applies for the whole workbook. Otherwise you won't find this event. We're just going to do this for now. And then we don't want active sheet here. It is sheet one. So I'm just going to do sheet one dot page setup dot left header is equal to here instead of text we're going to do sheet one dot range a1 dot value it is actually b1 here so we're just going to do b1 and then let's test this macro so if we go to print control p it's not going to come why because this executes only when you print so if i do print as pdf print Let's put it on my desktop and let's call it test. And then let's go and open it. You will be able to see that I get subscribed to this channel as the header. The concept is very simple. If you needed to do something else, you can just check what you have here, take it 
and then apply it. So please let me know in the comment section whether you have used this methodology in the past and whether you have some special printing requirements. So let's tackle them in another video.